What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about metal balls. We'll talk about the ball, the capsule, the plane, the um, the cube, the asteroid. Um, this is a previous YouTube video if you'd like to go check it out. It's on modifiers, it's very quick, simple, and all these modifiers are the ones I use most recently or most often in my videos. So we're going to go on a new general this is the um delete the cube shift add we can create a meta ball uh it will go m ball at this start which is what we want but we can change that if we'd like to and i'll talk about more about that later if i shift add a capsule gy you see that they connect together You see um, they connect together wherever they go what we could do is create it negative I'll talk about more about that later but um, in this video you can see that they join together so if we just join that together it looks like some sort of I don't know <laughs> if we add another metal ball which is a plane GY you can see like some sort of I don't know um you can see if we G all of them join together but if we if we click on this if we click on this circle you get the individual one but if you click on the thing the just the mesh or where the mesh outline is and G it this middle thing will move it's just the usual way it happens And if we move this around, we can see that it will join. It's good because metaballs can be easy to animate. If you had an armature, you can make it move. I'm going to add a rotate my Z G. I'm just going to move it down here. Then I'm going to shift add another, and then I'm going to go for a cube. Um, you can see that they join together, but it will join with other things as well. So it will join the two things together, and it's very cool to sort of play around with it. You you can sort of create this hammer look if you if you can sort of see it. See, it's very hard to click them, but if you get used to it, you can easily move them. So um, seeing this, this is sort of the hammer, then the work here. If I this thing forever but um if you remove these two you can see the sort of hammer look but we are going to be leaving them behind today and we are going to try some animation using the metaphors so if we just gy we're going to be working on this area you could add a new collection to that if you don't know how to do that um i'll show you in a second new collection you just right click new collection you could also there are simpler ways to do it but for now i just use that because it's quick simple and easy to do so we are going to create a new collection don't know why i deleted the old one but we are going to add a ball i'm going to put it in collection two this i'm i'm just going to sort of add a Met, uh, add a armature to these things it's not meant to look at like anything specific so these aren't meant to look at something like something completely or something you've seen recently it's just three um, metaballs joined together and you can see here there's update there's all these amazing amazing um, settings which you can play around with and do play around with them pausing the video here and just play around with them see what you can do um i will be adding the the armature soon but do play around with them 
and see what you can do. So, um, have you had a play around with it? Please do. It's really fun. Amazing to experiment before I go through things. You can't really see the armature right now, but that will be easy to sort out. Um, if you haven't done armatures before, this is a cool way to show it. If we click in front, you can see the armature. If you don't know the settings, go into the armature. Roll down all the way to viewport display. Click it and it will say in front. You can just click it there and you'll be able to see it. If we go like this, um, we can see that if we look up close, that the armature is there. But it's a bit too small and it's on the wrong rotation. So if we just rotate it without any constraints we may get it a bit wobbly and that's not what we want so we're going to rotate out on the x and i'm going to do about let's try 270 there it is um so it's a bit small so i'm going to move it back here because this little area this little ball um, this is where we want it to connect and to extrude from so that we can um, play with our model and change it so that it has more than so it has an arm. If we go into pose mode, we can sort of move this round, you know, but that's um, we can add constraint constraints, we can uh, change the bone sort of area. But we want to go on edit mode so we can um, create it bigger. If we just go G, you can see it um, becoming bigger, and that's what we want to. If we click, if we click on this single one and go E, it will click extrude, and that's what we want. We want this to extrude so that we have an extra bone. So there's two bones, and we need a third to so extrude. And we have, now we have three bones exactly. Where so we now we are going to have to go into pose mode for this armature. The pose mode shows that we can rotate it and this object, this metaball, should move with it. However, we haven't paired it so it won't do that. If we click on this metaball, then on this bone, if we shift P, you can see the bone set bo parent to bone. We want to click bone, and if we go into pose mode now, we should be able to rotate it, and this will move too, which is very cool. If we rotate this one, the top will move, but the bottom will not, and that's something we need to talk about. Well, we click this bone on pose mode, then we'll go back into object mode, click this, shift to click the bone, then kill P and set bone to, set parent to bone. Now if we go back into pose mode and we rotate, you should see that they are, they are joined together and they are all rotating except the last one and that's what we want to do now. Um, after this second one, we want to make sure that the third one copies the last so for this last one we will go into pose mode and click it then if we go back into object mode we can click this last metaball shift click curl p and set parent to bone then if we go back into pose mode and rotate this should move if we rotate this they should move rotate they're all moving this way we can easily create a um, animation with these armatures and that will be in my next video so subscribe if you'd like to watch that again and I'll see you then